and hello, Phoenix Kingdom. This is your king speaking. Now, today, we are doing a little bit more of Lego the Hobbit. Getting a little bit more of uh, the playthrough done, you know. Um, sorry about the last few days, I just haven't been in the mood. What are you looking at? You're just sitting on the stairs and staring at me for no reason. No, lay down. Go lay down. Lay on the couch. Lay with the uh, last girl there. No, get on the couch. Go on, get on the couch. Get comfortable. Blue. Blue on the couch. Lay down. Just because they're broken doesn't mean you have to buck. Uh, get a wild up. Yeah, you're right. You don't really buck. He's the one that bucks. But stay over there, okay? Just because they're getting wild up doesn't mean you have to. So that's what I thought. Um, okay. What was I saying? Oh yeah, sorry about the last few days. Because I just haven't been feeling all that well. Not in the right mood to be able to do videos. A lot has been going on. Yeah, this is a really good um, game. I wish they made more uh, games like this one when it comes to the Lego games, you know. At some time, I'm probably going to be doing the newest um, Lego Star Wars game, the Skywalker Sega. At some point. Oh no, I don't really like that game though. Which is strange as it's basically the only Lego game I actually don't like. And that's because they said they were going all out to make that game. Which they did go all out in graphic wise. They didn't go all out in literally everything which makes it look like shit. Because if you make certain things of a game go all out and then you just hardly do it and you work on certain things, it just makes you look bad. And that's what happened. They made themselves look bad. They go all out on certain aspects, but not all the way. Because they left out basically the most important thing of LEGO games. The one thing that actually makes 
the people have more fun in the games than they would with the games normally. They had left out the character customizer of the game. They were going to put it in, but then they just decided to screw it over and be like, no, we're not doing that. Which is pretty stupid. Just because of that, it made me not want to 100% the game. It would be good if they actually made an update to that game where you could actually have the customizer in it. But by the seams of it, they're not going to do that. I mean, there's, it's great that they have all those different characters because they were saying they weren't going to add a customizer because of there being like over 300 characters. But a lot of people don't care that there's just 300 characters. It's like with me too, because I don't care how many characters there are in the game. The game's not as good as if you'd add, truly add in the character customizer. Because it gives the people the choice of them making their own character with their own ways and everything. And when they're doing the story and everything like that, it just... It makes it a whole lot better for everyone. Because it adds that more bit of fun, that tiny bit of fun, that tiny bit of pizzazz needed to the game. So it just really irritates me. It's just very irritating because it just makes it seem like they can't even make a good game. Because if you look at LEGO games in general, for the whole generation that they've been making, they have been having a lot of bad times when games, a lot of sort of glitches or... Uh, content in the games that's just not all good uh, there's just a few things they left out of the game that they should have put in or just something like that you know the TT games left out quite a bit they have quite a bit of a problem when it comes to that it comes to making the games because I mean you could look at the latest failure in a way which being the Lego um, Star Wars, you know? Not being a major fail because of graphic wise or anything like that. But them being a failure because of um, refusing to put in character customizers. And because of them doing that. Um, it just adds to another game that they failed to actually make proper or even perfect in a way. Not exactly perfect, you can't really get anything perfect these days, but 
you could at least get it to be a game where no one would have any problems with the game. But you could look all the way back, and games like Lego Harry Potter Years 1 through 4 and Lego Harry Potter Years 5 through 7, just as a couple of examples. But they couldn't finish the coding of that game when they were first making it. I don't know if the uh, remake they made for the Nintendo Switch fixed their problems of the earlier games. But the earlier games were glitched out. There was always that one gold brick that showed that it was around. Like when you had the um, gold brick detector, it would show... Oh my god, this is getting irritating. Will you stop turning the goddamn camera? Oh my god. Well, this is just. You know, there's literally no way of getting up here, because. Yeah, it's an invisible wall. Okay. Fucking hell. Oh my god. Anyways. Probably someone with bigger could do this, maybe. I don't know. Well, he seems to be having a bit easier jumping up. Okay, yep, that's a problem. But, um... Anyways, they had a major glitch... That... Um... Prevented people from actually collecting that glass gold brick. You couldn't 100% the game because of the glitch that... For most people, actually showed the gold brick on the overworld for both games. So it happened both times. And the gold brick um, was just. I mean, you could see the gold brick air on the map and everything when you have the gold brick detector. But it was so glitched out that it would show you where it was, yet it wouldn't do anything. Because it was just that battling glitched out. You couldn't collect it, nothing. It was like an invisible gold brick. So it was a weird, um... It was just a whole weird thing. It's a weird glitch. I didn't try completing the um, remade version of Lego Harry Potter, the Lego Harry Potter collection, yet so I don't know if they fixed that glitch. But it wasn't just Lego Harry Potter um, games or uh, Lego Star Wars that they made. There was quite a few um, subtle problems that were throughout each game that they made. If you were looking carefully enough, you could be able to see it. I don't remember if I've seen... I mean, I know I've seen a couple of other problems that were in the LEGO games. I just don't remember which ones they were. I can't think of the others right now. But if you look at TT Games, they have a history of making bad decisions with their games, or just not completing the games in total. If you were planning on crossing into Troll Shores, I'm afraid I have to disappoint you. I came out to fix the bridge, but I threw my back out as soon as I lifted the first piece. If you're in a desperate hurry, you could always attempt to visit it yourself. Yeah, you could look at all of TT history and it's just full of bad decisions or incomplete games, which just makes them all in all look bad. It just proves that they shouldn't be making the games. They make some good games, but... They have a serious problem with finishing the games, uh, 
even adding in everything they should have. Even with the problems though, you can always enjoy a good LEGO game. Okay, so I can't make anything. The company took shelter from the light in the deserted ruins of the car. My I for one always love Lego games. Even with their problems. But it's just irritating how many problems the um, LEGO games have in them. If you look at the total.
I did not say that. I wanted to hit this. Fine, don't hit it. I did look into um, downloading the Harry Potter games the Lego Harry Potter games for me to be able to play at some point they didn't actually have the complete collection well they didn't have the collection version of the Lego Harry Potter they didn't have Lego Harry Potter collection on Steam so I had to download them separately so when I do that playthrough I won't actually be able to fully complete it I will however still 100% the levels of that playthrough when I do that playthrough but I won't really be able to um, I won't be able to fully 100% the game like I'm going to um, for this playthrough after a while when it's done and everything because there's going to be some episodes for this playthrough and my co-op with LEGO Jurassic World uh, co-op of LEGO Jurassic World with Buddha so it's those couple that's going to have their own episodes at the ending of the main story where it's going to show us 100%ing each level and everything. And showing the um, spots where you could find everything, you know. So it's like this one, that one for the Lego Jurassic World and then there is um, stop walking over thank you Jesus but um so yeah gonna be doing that you know And I also have Lego Lord of the Rings on here that I will start doing when I complete this playthrough. So when this playthrough is done, not only am I going to work on 100%ing this uh, playthrough and doing the videos on there, but I'm also going to get started on Lego Lord of the Rings too. And of course, um, I am playing this on with the Xbox controller like before. Thank you. 
What you doing there, Brianna? Ah, okay. Let her whip. Try not getting the other. Yeah. You need him to move the car? Okay. Yeah, cool. All right.
Alright, let's see. You. 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 You shall not pass! Where the mountain shoals then to this first self. You have lost for the age. This is a darker power than one of these lands. They could not have moved in daylight. There must be a cave nearby. Alright, and that will do it for today's video. <clears throat> and I'll see everybody... Oh, wait, no, never mind. <laughs> Phoenix, punch that subscribe button um, to join my Phoenix Kingdom. And also hit that notification bell to be notified of future uploads. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Goodbye.